Hey, how's it going, everyone? Today is a sad day to be a Naruto fan, and this is a topic that I was hoping I would never have to talk about. And it's a death for someone very, very close to all of us as fans of Naruto, as I said. And again, it's just, it, it's a very sad day. So, first and foremost, I want to say, you know, I, I don't really keep up with the Boruto manga too much. Uh, I made a video back in like 2019 uh, about this, back when Naruto and Sasuke were fighting one of the Otsutsukis in Boruto. And that was where it was. Uh, I usually don't keep up to it too much unless something major like this happens. And I also want to say that I expect there to be quite a few many people uh, that support Boruto that don't necessarily agree with my position on this. And I just want to say outright, you know, I respect anybody who likes the manga, the anime, like, there are a lot of good moments in Boruto that I feel like we can all agree with. Like I said, I personally don't pay attention to the manga as much, but even in the anime, there are some really good moments that I feel like the general population can agree are really good. You have the fight with Momoshiki, and you also have it, like, where Naruto and Boruto got to meet each other. That was really, really nice, and things like that are nice, uh, but I, I personally feel like it's outweighed by the negatives. Things such as this that just don't feel right towards the lore, and in my opinion, it just kind of like makes the previous story of Naruto just a little bit worse. And that's just my opinion, but I personally think that that's a true statement. There are going to be major spoilers. You have been warned. Uh, this is the point for you to turn back, but I feel like a lot of you have already heard about this. This is really just my take on it. I had to make a video about this. This is going to be completely opinion based. I'm going to explain why I think this doesn't make sense, but uh, this isn't really a factual video. This is my take on it. So just understand that if you think that this is fine, then okay. Hey, that's all for you. But to me, I don't agree with this. In Boruto chapter 55, the battle is pretty much over and we see Naruto and Kurama talking. Now, last year there was a new mode that came out for Naruto. For those of you who don't know, he did get this new mode, uh, which it looks really nice. I wasn't a fan of it when it came out just because it, I, I personally didn't want to see another a form of Naruto. I'm not really a fan of when they add random forms like that, like out of thin air, you know, like I just don't like it. Like with the Kurama chakra mode, this is something that we've understood for the whole series, that the Ninetales power is extremely strong. So when he just whipped out KCM, it, it wasn't like random. It felt like it was earned. And even going into KCM 2, like we understood that, you know, KCM 1, he's just taking a little bit of the Ninetales chakra, uh, where KCM 2, he worked it up. Now, Sage of Six Pass mode does kind of fall into that category. That did come out of nowhere, uh, don't get me wrong. But I think that's where they should have left it. Like, Sage of Six Pass, okay, I can understand it because Obito had the Sage of Six Pass powers within him, then Madara was able to get power of it. So, I mean, it wasn't too far of a stretch that Naruto and Sasuke could get that power. How they went about getting it, though, is the part that didn't make much sense. The, you know, Hagaromo just appearing out of thin air. So, that's where I think they should have left it. I wasn't a fan of this new Baryon mode. I'm probably saying that incorrectly. Uh, but we did know that it was going to come with a big cost regardless. When we first saw this, like, we knew that this was going to be the death of either Naruto or something bad was going to happen. This was going to have major consequences. Just how strong the mode looked and, you know, the power that he was going to have. Something bad was going to happen. But I don't think anybody expected this. And arguably, I feel like this is a worse alternative to Naruto dying. After the battle, Naruto and Kurama are talking and he's explaining, like, you know, this is it. And it, it's kind of like in typical Naruto fashion where he's kind of dull. He's not really understanding it. But we as the readers are assuming that Naruto is going to die as well. And then it, it comes out that Kurama tells him, like, no, that's not exactly what I meant. I'm going to be the one that's going to die. Uh, you're not going to die and Naruto is as shocked as we are because he had no idea that Kurama would be the one that's dying. You heard me correctly. Kurama is going to be the one that dies. And you would you would be thinking, well, okay, isn't Naruto going to die too? And can't Kurama not die? These are the questions that are raised. So he goes on to say is that, you know, he never really told Naruto that this mode wouldn't kill him. And he gave his life in exchange to go ahead and give him into that power, that that form did work. He also explains something we know very well. Normally when a Jinchuriki's biju is extracted, they die. Naruto was on the brink of death at one time when the Ninetales was extracted during the fourth great ninja war. It was because of the other half being put in there from Minato, who was already dead as an Edo Tensei, that brought him back from that. Or in the case of Gara, where Chiyo, you know, did like a 
sacrifice for a sacrifice kind of thing. But he goes on to say that that doesn't apply to him the Bijou's chakra will just vanish, which is really weird to me because like I said, in the past, we were told that tailed beasts can't die. They can't die. The most is like being sealed away. Like even at the end of the series, Sasuke was gonna try to seal them all away. He wasn't gonna try to kill them because they'll just come back. You can try to explain it however you want that this new mode does just make the chakra disappear. From what he's saying, like Naruto's not gonna die because the chakra is just vanishing. It's not being extracted. So it's still kind of weird to me and it doesn't really make sense. I really don't like how they went about this. Like I did not want for Naruto to die. A lot of people saying that Naruto was going to die eventually and we knew that something like that may have happened because this story is about Boruto, it's about him. But making Naruto weaker as a result of this, it just, it feels like such a slap in the face to me, like, it just does. He worked so hard for Kodama, even when he got it taken out of him as I said in the 4th Great Ninja War, that was only for a very minuscule amount of time. Now also because he would have died. Uh, if he had it out longer than that, but also it would have just been such a huge slap in the face, man. He worked so hard to get control of the Nine Cells, and this is very heartbreaking. Uh, this is very heartbreaking to say the least. Naruto is very sad, of course. Um, they've been so close. He even goes on to say, you know, like, you killed my parents, but you've still been there for me. Like, they've had such a rocky relationship, but as we all know very fondly that Naruto and Kudama did end up getting along in the end, and it's just, it sucks, man. But I, whether you believe or not that this makes any sense or that they should have just killed off Naruto and Kudama still would have came back to life, it's just, it's very sad, man. He's gonna be very hollow without Kudama, I personally feel like. And he, he even says it to Naruto. Kudama goes and says, like, you're not gonna have this strength anymore that you have that made you almost superhuman. So you do need to watch yourself. And it just sucks, man, because now not only is Naruto a lot less powerful than he would have been with the Kudama power, it's just, he's literally saying goodbye to someone that's been there from the day he was born. Even though he put Naruto through hell, all the time that Naruto was really alone, he wasn't truly alone. He had the nine cells inside of him, and unlike before, as I said in the fourth grade ninja war, he has to live with that fact now that Kurama's gone. From what I can tell, he's gone and he's not coming back. And it's it's a very sad day. I never thought we would see the day where the nine tails would have died. And I just I really wish that they wouldn't have went this route. But regardless, we can all agree whether you think it's a right choice or it's very dumb, you can agree that this is sad nonetheless. And it's 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 very heart wrenching. It's very heart wrenching to say the least. But that's gonna take care of it. Let me know what you guys think about this. As I said, I don't keep up with the manga too much, so hopefully you guys go a little easy on me if you are a, like a diehard supporter of the series. Agree that it sucks that we're losing Kudama. I'm gonna miss him, honestly. And it just makes those scenes in Shippuden hit a little bit more at home. Uh, but it also does a bad job of kind of getting rid of all that hard work. It's like, now Naruto, he lost something so precious to him, and it, it sucks. But let me know what you guys think about this, and I'm looking forward to seeing this, like, when it comes out as in an anime, eventually, like, I can't wait to see the anime of, like, the actual episodes of this, because it's gonna be even more heart-wrenching in video form. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.